everybody, it's Titan Fee Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker that is highly anticipated uh, by me. A sneaker that I really want to add to the collection because I missed it the first time around. But I didn't miss it this time. At the time of recording the video, this sneaker is set to release in July. So we kind of early with this one. I'm also going to show a couple of pickups I had. But before we get into all that, I need a couple of things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Hit that like button. Also, leave a comment down below in that comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneakers itself and what your plans are with this sneaker. And let me know if you like the little pickups I have as well. Do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already now uh i had a reward that was expiring from hibbit look like when hibbit gives you rewards look like you have to capitalize on it pronto so i uh went to pick up the uh oxidized green jordan ford that released uh for a good friend of mine and i saw this in the store so these three pack of uh, Nike socks, when I saw this color, I thought of one sneaker, one of my favorite sneakers to release this year, the Kobe Pro Troll 8, the Venice Beach. This goes really good with that, plus the gray goes good with it as well. And with these white ones, I'll figure out something else to wear with it, probably LeBron Sprites or something like that. And I recently went out of town for my birthday. I had some time to relax on the beach, you know, fall asleep on the balcony, do old man stuff. And I did go to the outlet uh, in Foley, Alabama. And uh, I went to Pro Image and I bought this bad boy here. I wanted this when I saw it. I was like, yeah, I gotta have it. Goes really good with your LeBron 8 South Beach. So, that's a nice little hat that I picked up right there. They had your boy size seven and a half. And I cop now to the main attraction, which you came here for. Let's get it together. Here's the box, guys. Y'all see it? KD35. Get you a good look at that box. A little 360. There you go. A little underneath action. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. We got the KD Nerf, guys. Remember, these released in December 2011. I believe it was December 17th of 2011. And the color is Concord, bright crimson, and black. And this is a size 15 B noise. This is for the tote. And I'm not sure what the retail is going to be on these. You know, when you get them early, you tend to not know what the retail is going to be. These aren't even on the sneakers app yet. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we got a fold over box top. We got some graffiti art right here. There you go. Some good images of that graffiti art right there. We got double tissue, glossy on one side, rough on the other. Uh, we have a lot stamp right there. It's uh, slanted. We don't we don't have any YCM stickers, but look on the inside of the box, more good images. Looks like the Nerf gun splashing. There you go. It's some real good images of the box. So they gave us a good designer box. We didn't get any Nerf guns or football because they got the football in 2011. So have to sell it for the shoes. Let's get it. Here we go, guys. We have the KD4, the Nerf, the 2024 edition. Like I said earlier at the time of recording this video, these are set to come out in July. I've even seen some places where these are going to release in August. So we know Nike moved the dates around. Not sure which date they're going to actually drop. But here's a first look for you on your boy Titanic Feet Jack channel. We got that uh, Concord blue all over, majority cover. 
of the sneaker. Uh, you have paint splatter on here. You have an adaptive fit strap. And if you unfasten it, this is what it looks like. As you can see, adaptive fit. Nice, cool sneaker. I know uh, a lot of people probably won't feel these because these are basketball sneakers. These came out in the time when Nike basketball sneakers was very popular doing their thing. These were considered grills. You got a little mesh right here on your quarter panel. As you can see, your basic uh, silhouette or your KD4s. You got your midsole polyurethane paint splatter all over it. You got that black colorway. You got like an infrared 23 color, same color as the swoosh on your adaptive strap. You got a hit of that neon green and a hit of uh, blue as well, Concord blue on that midsole. This leads to the outsole. You got a lot of that infrared 23 colorway or crimson as they say on the box. You can see your uh, air sole unit right here. And we do have Kevin Durant's signature right there. If you guys can see that, uh, you got this pattern on here, sand pattern, and you do have something right here at the toe. Let's see, it actually says Barbara, and it says Tony Man, whatever that means. Not sure what that means. And we're going to look at the back of the sneaker. You have KD's initials or logo right there. And if you look a little closely down here on the midsole, there is a word in grain or in Boston here. It says Big Chuck. I believe that's one of uh, KD's nicknames from childhood. Or correction, no, that's his uh, friend, I believe. I think he had a friend that wore a number of... Uh, 35 or he wears number 35 in tribute to the guy. I believe that's what it is uh, Looking at the medial side of the sneaker you have more of that space gray colorway and that uh, Crimson color hit on that swoosh right there on the ankle and uh, Looking at the strap Show you what this side looks like without the adaptive strap fasten There you go and looking at the toe box that's reaching inside y'all know how we do over here we do have tissue in here a long piece of tissue and we have a mesh tongue in that concord blue you got concord laces these are the only laces these come with this is the right sneaker you have a nerf written on the tongue of the right sneaker this is a co-branded sneaker and on the uh, left sneaker you have KD 35 on that sneaker you also have big Chucky down here on the bottom of the right sneaker as well sock liner you have a paint splatter sock liner that's uh, fasten this strap back first this is the back of the tongue looks like and that paint splatter sock liner like I mentioned let's see if the insert comes out easily don't want to destroy my sneaker uh, now nah, it's kind of glued in so I'm gonna have to get, let you guys see what the inside looks like. You have a, a crimson color Nike swoosh on top of that Concord blue. And you have some paint splatter right up under it. And the majority of the insert is black. And let's see, can we see that uh, size and tag? They put it in a difficult spot, but you know I'm gonna work with it. It says USI 15 and the production date is January 17th, 2024 to, I'm sorry, to April 8th, 2024. So about three months of production with these. Uh, fit on these. 
it's a true basketball sneaker. It fits snug, so I strongly suggest going up a half a size if that's available for you. If not, and you're like my situation, I wear a size 14 normally, and at this time, Kanye West and Gucci are the only people that I know put out sneakers or shoes in size 14.5. So I had to go with a size 15. So do size up if you don't like the sneakers to fit exact because this is a basketball sneaker. I just need about this amount of room on the toe. And that's why I get that size 15. But this is the sneaker. I'm happy Nike decided to uh, retro this KD. This is the third one this year that I have copped. Uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, KD for on pearls and the kd4 christmas pair they also are retroing this year but let me know your plans for the kd nurse are you getting them let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna go ahead in the video guys like i always tell you if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker i'm titanium fee jack signing out